I just want to cover about the uh, Nexium doctor, Brendan B. Porter, who has recently uh, went to court to face charges on the ex human experiments that he conducted. I mean, not hearing about this too much in mainstream media, but I did find an article, which I'll put the link um, at the bottom of the page in the details. So Brendan Porter, doctor for the infamous Nexium Secret Society, was accused of illegally conducting a slew of shocking, okay, here he is, a slew of shocking human experiments, among other accusations. Porter, 44, a member of Nexium, with the leader Keith Rennier, was also facing charges of sex trafficking, forced labor. Um, there's a 16-page report against this doctor, Brendan Porter, which I will also link in the description below. And they're still determining what, uh, what charges he'll face or what the outcome will be. But, okay, he is unethical experiments. He is accused, they accuse Porter of conducting illegally and highly perverse experiments. In one case, he conducted a, quote, fright study in which he showed an actual video of the horrific and brutal murders and dismemberment of four women by machetes to subjects without their consent. He says, uh, other clips shown between 2012 and 2017 were equally gruesome. The report also describes another incident where in which 50 to 60 children fell ill from a mysterious illness at a retreat hosted by Nexium in August 2016. About 400 people attended the show in Silver at the Silver Bay YMCA recruitment office in New York. Many of the attendees and most of the children became ill with an undetermined infectious disease. The report noted, attendees allegedly suffered from, quote, flu-like symptoms, vomiting, and diarrhea. While Porter was in attendance and had full knowledge of the outbreak, he failed to report the incident, the OPMC alleged. He was also accused of failing to isolate individuals with the disease to an appropriate environment. Porter and Porter and other Nexium higher ups did not get sick. So hundreds of people at this retreat got sick, but none of the upper Nexium people got sick at a Nexium retreat in upstate New York. And this was never reported to the health department. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens to this Nexium doctor and what more may come out from all of this.